All right, what year? That's not the Civic. What year did you say this is? 2015. 15? I got a... Uh, oh, you took the silencer out? What did everything's the, gone too. What did, yeah, what did the silencer out? Oh, it's in the trunk? Okay. We just finished that one. Now it's this one. He's got a dog box in there. That's why you hear the transmission all crazy. Oh my god, the VTEC. VTEC. Yeah. Kicked in. Alright, where's that silencer? Wait, oh, put it back in the trunk. Cool. Let's see, we're gonna test it. So we're gonna tune the car without the silencer, then we'll throw in the silencer and see how much of a difference it makes. I think we all know that it's gonna cost some power, but just exactly how much? It's the I don't wanna get pulled over mod. Huh? <laughs> yeah, definitely. 511, oh my God. Is probably running so shitty because you see the fuel trims it's adding 30% fuel in the short term and it's adding 24 in the long term so it's adding 54% to hit your target of 14.7 AFR um, but when a car is cold it's gonna stay in like open loop till it warms up so it'll be like really really lean and VTEC is not gonna kick in <laughs> so Watch when I tune it, this should be plus minus 5%. And then long term should be like 1% or 2, whatever, up to 5 is okay. But that's way too much fuel. That's a little better. All right, so, so far we did his first baseline pool made 170 and the torque was 151 so now the torque went up to 172 I think it made 173 nope 172 horsepower jumped up to 205 which is pretty good um, let's see what the air fuel yeah so that was his old air fuel ratio you can see Let's see, bring this over here. Yeah, his air fuel ratio before was 15. So we picked up everywhere and we're still not done yet. Take out the other pools. So that's still, we're going to do one more with that off. Then we're going to put it on, do another, see what it does. 
Did I remind you guys that V Tech just kicked in? Best power so far we did 205 without the silencer. His 170 was way down here, 151 torque. So the graph looked the last good. video actually ended because I ran out of storage on my phone. So we put the silencer on. VTEC kicked in. So let's do a pull with the silencer on and see what it does to the air fuel and the horsepower. Earlier we made best of 205 without it. Oh my god, I forgot to log it. All right, it did 187. It's actually pretty good. Better than I thought. So I did 187. Let's actually do another pull back to back. Fuel trims are looking good. Actually, it actually picked up a little bit of knock with the silencer. Surprisingly, it didn't lose crazy. It lost quite a bit, made it go really rich. So air fuel actually came down to 11s here. So we're getting some knock retard, which is okay. Fuel trims look good. Let's go look at the graph. Wow. Oh, it lost a lot down low quite a bit so let's get rid of the other so we don't need that we don't need that okay so actually so right here we lost with the silencer we it made there we go right there so 149 tour so 170 and then top in it made about 192 is the highest and right here it lost quite a bit so at 5200 it went from one 170 down to 149 I mean it's not like terrible but it still lost quite a bit so you don't really need both tunes. We technically are fine running one tune. Just try not to beat on it crazy um, with the silencer on. But you can see the graph is much smoother and it picks up a lot of power everywhere with, um, with the silencer off. So it's not as, I thought it was gonna make like maybe 160. So it's not as bad as I thought. The silencer are on. It's a big silencer too. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, then. What size is that? Like, almost? I want to say. One and. Like, it's not two inches. Close. Alright, I think that's a wrap.
good enough. We'll call it. 205 horsepower is the peak and 172 torque. A lot better than green line here, which lost everywhere because it was so lean. Ship it. Send it.